Good morning and welcome to Ibrook. Uh, this is the latest instalment of our YouTube videos. Uh, today we're going to be conducting uh, long drifts across the basin. There's a lot of fish at Ibrook out in the open water uh, and as you can see it's quite a blustery day. So we're going to drift across the basin uh, and try and pick up fish as we go across. Because of the wind strength it's quite strong okay we could be potentially moving quite quick. To counteract that could, we're going to be using a drogue. The drogue is simply a parachute it's going to drift behind the boat and slow the drift down. And what that's allowed us to do is going to be to fish more effectively. Okay, we're going to quickly talk about the drogue setup. Uh, and as you can notice, then the way we attach the drogue to the boat is going to use G clamps. There's various different types you can get. I've opted for G clamps. They're a lot, they're quite sturdy and secure, uh, and they keep the drogue attached to the boat. If you look at the back, then you'll notice that I've got the G clamp attached to the side of the boat, and attached onto the top of the G clamp, I've got a clip which attaches the drogue via the ropes to the actual boat itself. Just going to quickly talk about also is the, the distance and where you put your G clamps. You can, you can, it's personal choice really, but to be honest, I prefer to put them quite as wide as I can. And the reason for that being, I want the drogue to set quickly. The more narrow they are together, and the length of the drogue ropes will affect how long it takes that drogue to set. Okay, so as you can see, I've got mine on the outside of the seat. Uh, behind you, you can't see it just yet, but we'll show you later on you've got a G clamp on the far side of the seat on that side as well. And attaching the drogue to the, to the G clamps, just got a length of rope that attaches onto the drogue itself and that attaches either end. So later on in the video we'll show you if the boat is crabbing how to correct that crab and get the boat to drift nice and straight. So we've just started the top of the drift then, so I'm now going to set the drogue. I'm not just going to throw it in a massive heap, because obviously it's going to cause any, the ropes could twist and it could be a bit of a nightmare. So I'm going to drop in one side first, just gently feed it in. And as the boat moves, the drogue is going to dig in, open out and set us on a drift and slow that sort of ascent down the reservoir a lot slower. And like I said before, that'll help us fish more effectively in front of the boat. Yeah, so as you can see then, the drogue is now set, the ropes are quite tight, and you can almost see just under the surface, the drogue begins to bellow. And that'll open out into the sort of parachute sort of form, and cause enough drag to slow that movement of the boat down. Okay, we out of the drifted boat now and the, the actual sort of drift is start to, the boat starts to crab over to the left a little bit so what I want to do is correct that so to do that I'm going to shorten the right hand side of the boat which is on the bow by one turn and that'll let them bring the boat round so it drifts straight struggling to start the engine and the next minute you're into danger. Right, so always start your engine first before you bring the drogue in. And when you bring the drogue in, just pull it one side like you've seen me do, pull it in it claps in, draw it all into the boat, drop it in your feet. Come around to start another drift, uh, the wind has started to change direction again, and now we're kind of crabbing over to the right. So, to correct that, I'll just take off the, the wrap, the turn of the, the drogue rope that we put on earlier on, and that way you should straighten the boat back up again. So, we'll just do that now.
There we go, we've got cracking fish. Lovely fish, lovely stuff of fish we've got in Ibrook at the moment. You can see this little flex on its tail. You can just see his, his tail there. Absolutely banging fish. Let's get it back. And then, as you've seen, it's been quite a blustery and windy old day. Well, I hope you've picked up, uh, you found it quite useful, and hopefully you picked up a few tips on how to set the drogue.